real quick at the good old 76. Man pulls up ready to go with the Denali and the good old girl up on the trailer. He's ready to let her rip. He said if it breaks, she's getting right up on the trailer, so that's the way to do it. Gonna toss the stocks on, start tearing it up a bit. But anyway, check out this Denali. That thing's sick. Stocks are on. We're ready to go. So what'd you think, man? You ready to send it today or what? Yep. <laughs> About, About ready. I let him borrow the stocks. It says as long as you blow them off, take them, bro. Two seconds later. So we're gonna be giving Josh a little rip in old black beauty, so. What'd you think, man? It's pretty sick. It sounds are just intriguing, man. <laughs> She's a whistler for sure, but. Anyone's from Florida, this is death right here. Good old red ants. A little bit of a little bit of this and that, no big deal. We're both looking pretty bald over here. Yep. <laughs> we got we got a little more room to party though. So these things might gotta blow off at some point. What you guys think? Two units though. Gotta love some old school diesels getting after it. Brakes are happy as well. The brakes are always happy. As you can see, that, that's just their sign. That's all it is. Nothing crazy.
who doesn't like an older truck making some power? So let's give you guys a look and let's see what's done to this thing. What, what we got going on over here? It's all stock, man. All stock? <laughs> Dang it. Um, it's a 2004 LB7. Uh, it's a full force internal build. It's got a Wagler bottom end in it with a Cali stage two crank. Uh, it's got main uh, billet mains, main studs, head studs. It's bored 40 thousandths over. It's got uh, cut chamfer dealet performance pistons. Uh, lots of head work, dual valve springs, uh, Waggler Stage 2 cam, and then it's got a set of 75 over dynamite diesel performance injectors, a Sportsman CP3, and it's got a Stealth charger on it right now from Duramax Tuner, it's a Stealth 67. This truck's been through about three chargers, um, and it's also got a Stage 5 built transmission from a guy up in Tampa. Uh, it's got all billet input and output shafts, uh, and the only thing that's stock on this truck as of right now is the rear end and it's on its last leg. <laughs> As you guys hear, very much stock, this whole truck. That man just busted out that list like nothing, man. He was ready to go. But any other plans with what you got going on here? Um, as far as other plans go, depending on what it puts down on the dyno, once I get it dynoed soon and track numbers, I might, the interior is kind of gutted right now. I might cut the bed off and uh, do a fiberglass overlays and stuff and kind of track it. It is a two wheel drive truck, so I will be doing, you know, a custom rear end and and all that stuff and oh I, it is two-wheel drive yes i so never i, I never knew at, that i look at the weight advantage in a two-wheel drive truck over a four-wheel drive truck uh because i have seen lots of diesels out there sticking on two-wheel drive with some big slicks in the rear um the only other thing i'm going to do to the engine is i'm going to throw a dual fueler kit on it so i take a little bit less strain off the sportsman pump that way i can make a little more power so with my fuel and air setup right now i'm, I'm good for about 750 tire and then with the dual fueler and everything i can take it up to 850 safely um, you know, and make it reliable. But on my daily tune, on my daily tune, I'm sitting at about 550 to 650, depending on you know the day and temps and everything. So it's 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 a fun truck, but it is it is kind of a daily driver. When you originally took the motor out, was it blown up or what? What yes, went on? Yes, I melted a piston. One of my injectors cracked, and it was a stock block on 35 over injectors. Um, no no head gaskets or anything. Just fuel and air mods. Uh, you know, air was just airflow, turbo was stock, and I was putting down 507 to the tire, which is like almost 550 to the crank. And then once I blew it up, I'm like, you know, time to go full balls to the wall. And uh, it's been three years since I've been building it, and it's finally out on the road and somewhat reliable to, you know, have fun with. More, more performance overlooks for me because honestly at the end of the day I'd like to have a raggedy you know not the greatest looking truck and pull up next to you in a sports car and hammer down and see you later so. yeah It'll, it will catch you off guard if you just see this thing sitting here for the suspension and the wheels and tires right now it's sitting on some Denali stocks Nitto Terra grapplers and then my suspension setup is a three inch uh, uh, reverse leveling kit in the rear uh, two and a half inch leveling keys in the front that are turned out and it's kind of got more of the bully dog stance, but I'm thinking about doing a three down in, in the front and the rear, doing bags in the rear, putting it down on the ground because I like I like the lowered bully dog stance more than anything. Yeah, it'd be pretty sick. But uh, it's all a work in progress. Oh, isn't it for all of us? Oh yeah. As all you guys know, everyone building the truck, this is all a, a big work in progress, and it's never 100%, but we're trying. That's all that matters. So you know, people say, oh, you can slap a tune on it and some injectors and call it a day. Well. You know, uh, the biggest thing for me is I see, yeah, you guys do, you know, tune injectors and all that fun stuff, and then you're breaking down every other day. Well, for me, I'd rather have everything done around to make it happy, keep it happy and alive, so I can drive it for the long run instead of break down every other drive, which, I mean, it's kind of been like that with this truck, but it's been <laughs> around with multiple tuners, and it's just been, it's been a learning curve, you know, because I- we, We've all been there, bro. Yeah, I basically took a book, opened it up, and said, okay, how do I do this? Yeah. But before we head out of here, I want to talk about the good old Denali. Yeah. 2022 Denali, uh, 2500 L5P Duramax. It's my second L5P. Um, this is my second white truck. My other L5P was red. Um, I had a few things under the red one, but uh, this one in terms of stuff, it's bone stock. I haven't even had the chance to tint the windows on it yet. But um, you know, this is my daily driver, long distance and tow pig, as you guys can see. You know, plans for this thing in the future. I just want to keep it simple and clean. Four inch to six inch lift. Uh, you know, maybe some 26s. And 10 speeds don't really like power, so at this point, you know, it, it's just a nice, you know, mall crawler or a grandpa truck in a way. So, you know, other than that, you know, it's 
just like riding in a Tesla. The 10 speeds, you can't feel them shift. <laughs> plenty of power for towing and it does great. But you know, at the end of the day, I can keep one reliable at least. There you go. I like the look of these with the stocks in the back. Yes, tractors, we got some tractors out. Little street tractors out on the road. What's crazy to me is the marks still over here. Originally, this burnout I did was probably almost a year ago now. And then you see some, some new marks there. But Black Beauty lays it down, boys. I think at some point we just gotta, we gotta get this whole road stretched out. Look at this. Still rolling. <laughs> She goes on and on. One day, this whole road. What you guys think? Dirty ass windshield? <laughs> actually started doing is brought my mattress out here just in case the truck breaks or anything like that I'll just pull it off to the side and I'll get a good night's rest 